It's this guy here for the Bitchin' Report. Uh, doing my daily rounds this morning. Uh, checking some weather websites. Every now and again, for some reason, they cannot give us an image of the clouds. Here we are. I live somewhere over here in this area. And when, when you scan out, there's no clouds. This is one strip of clouds around the equator. And for some reason, there's no clouds anywhere else. A couple of six-pointers right here. So other than this little section right here, there's no clouds on the map. I find this just incredibly odd given the military use of satellites and technology. These people would not function if this was the map our Navy was given. Just plain and simple. These people get data. There is data. There is no reason for this unless there's something in the data that you are not supposed to see. So again, nothing up this sleeve, nothing up that sleeve. We'll check these out real quick. This is Intellicast. It's a great website for weather and earthquakes, all kinds of other stuff. Uh, go check it out. Intellicast. Uh, right there. There we go. So let's go check the uh, the global wind map. This is this is a really awesome awesome website. All right, there we go. It's the global wind map. This is an awesome map. Just to click around and and see the wind. What you see, the lines moving. Those are the wind patterns. We're gonna go through various uh, various levels uh, and altitude of the wind pattern. And total cloud precipitation. These white spots you see are areas where there is rain in the clouds. Okay, so real quick, we're going to take a look around. Well, you can see when I stop and move the globe, the wind stops. See this kind of stuff right here? It looks a little odd. Let's come over here to the Indian Ocean and see what we can see. Not much going on. Not much going on. Let's get over here. Around the bottom Pacific. Again, not a lot going on as far as wind. Rel relatively calm. But I saw this. And then I saw this. This seems rather out of place to me. That is... That is a pattern that has no reason. There's nothing out in the ocean to cause that kind of a wiggle. Wind patterns are generally caused by high and low pressures and mountains. And you don't see any of that around there. So this wind blowing in this direction has recreated those kind of squiggly lines. But that that's what caught my attention. And then... I scrolled up here. Everybody see that? Everybody see that right there? That is man-made. That right there is either microwave, uh, electromagnetic, but that is something that humans have done. What I want to show you is it doesn't matter what altitude or what pressure you're at, it stays. So we're going to work with the height. What you just saw was surface. And see, that's still there. Look at this down here. Still there. Still there. And you can see the, this, this pattern, this, this type of, of uh, clouds are only in that right there. Uh, this website can be kind of slow, slow to react sometimes. But you can see that this is not happening over the great expanse of Russia. It's not happening down on the Indian Ocean. 
Not really happening in the Southern Pacific, Western Pacific, West Coasts of the Pacific. Actually, I would imagine that's the East Coast of the Pacific. So let's get back to this this little spot right here. We're just going to focus on this, get right to the meat. So we're going to go down another level. Let's see what happens there. What you'll notice is the winds start getting a little, little crazier. See that? So again, this is the this is wind. You can see down here. Seventy-four kilometers. This is how much rain is in this little dot. And you can click this little dot all over. I would recommend you coming to this website. This is a global wind map. Uh, just do a duck duck go search of that. And, uh, and come over here and just check out some of this stuff. Really, really neat. Really neat website. So here we go. We just dropped down a little bit more. And it hasn't moved. Hasn't even changed shape. Let's go down one more. And again, you can see the wind pattern. That wind pattern does not go with that cloud formation. Not in the slightest. You see for yourself again. Let's use our eyes. They tell us things we don't need. We don't need other people to tell us what we're looking at. So we just dropped down to 250. And you can see wind a little more crazy. We're going up in the jet stream. So again, this is this is really, really funky looking. But the cloud pattern doesn't change. Let that wind pattern pop back up again. Very unnatural push. Keeping that moisture off of the west coast of the United States. And two more and then we'll be done. Two more. Just want to drive my point home. Again, still there. Let's look down here. Oh, look at that. Still there. Hasn't moved. Perfectly straight line like that. See that wind going against, going against that. That that should not stand up to the wind going against it. Let's try one more for you. This should be crazy. Look at this big swirl over the United States over here. I'm going to show you something down in the Arctic. Come on, website. Dun, dun. Okay, there we go. Probably get a copy. Holy smokes, can you see that? This is the upper atmosphere. This is a jet stream. And uh, that's how it looks. So you can see our circle is still there. Right. We can see these lines have changed very little considering the amount of wind they come up against. So that should be tearing that cloud formation apart. I saw this earlier. Let me share this. Let's scroll out. Oh, this is really being slow. Look at that wind. Look at how big. Th this is 
half of the southern Pacific Ocean like that. Let's let's click on this and see. 361 kilometers an hour. Where's our math leads? Somebody could figure that out real quick. That's probably over 200 miles an hour. So let's come back up here. Oh, this this website is just not going to cooperate. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. You can see it down here. This is not going to cooperate. We'll just do it that way. So what I've shown you is that this is man-made. Kind of goes to proving the point that they are using some kind of a microwave, some kind of a... Uh, electromagnetic pulse they're using something they are doing something this is irrefutable so I just wanted to bring that to your attention start a conversation have you run with it maybe uh, maybe you know what's going on you do say something raise your hand we will call on you for the Bidgen report I'm this guy here bringing you the information you need to be an informed human being.